Preppy Radio, this is Chiara Nicoletti from the 79th Venice Venetian Film Festival and with Laura Dern, Dan McGrath, protagonist of The Sun by Florian Zeller in competition here at the festival. Welcome and welcome back. Thank you, thank you. So happy to be back and be with you again. So as I was telling you before, I'm also a mom, so I, I want to start with this scene that regards the two of you that was really um, a scene that made me suffer a lot because it's it's the the mother son scene you know where where he's expressing his pain and you're the mom you have to say that everything will be all right you know but it's it's so simple in his mother son relationship but it's the film yeah. i mean so did you portray that and did you portray this uh, this relationship or this mother son relationship well, I think personally there's nothing more comforting than a motherly figure saying everything's going to be all right. Um, it's, the, I think, a definition of safe. Yeah. Um, and Laura being so lovely made that so believable for me when I was actually, you know, having an emotional breakdown on, in the scene um, and able to sort of fall into her arms and be comforted like that, um, like a small child with their mother. Um, and I think you see parallels of that when you see younger Nicholas with um, Laura as well. And, you know, it's so beautiful to be with Zen, who's so open and willing and, and vulnerable and willing to go to, as you've said, the darkest of places. But we were so lucky to have Florian as our guide because he creates such a, a safe womb-like space mm. on a set, like no other director I've worked with. Um, and his heart is so broken open, it's like he's there with us as our filmmaker, going through it with us. And it's a very tender experience. Mm. But specifically that scene is so heartbreaking because in that moment, I'm so naively telling him what I want to believe is the truth. Mm. I think if I just love him hard enough through this, everything will be okay. But we don't get to tell our children that. Because the truth is we are powerless, even as parents, which is you know, a devastating thing to learn as parents. And, at, and the more difficult the world becomes, the more difficult it is to parent in these times, it feels, um, particularly with the epidemic of the last two years of uh, mental health crises amongst adolescents and teens. Uh, do you think that we ever stop being sons of daughters of someone? No. <laughs> Put it simply, no. Um, I think you always... Everyone, I think, longs for some sort of authority figure to feel comfortable in. Mm. Um, and I think we're always someone's daughter or son. Um, and that applies to this film as well. And Hugh has his father. Uh, which is Anthony, and um, he obviously can't find comfort in him. Um, and I think th it, it stays with you for the rest of your life. Uh, Laura, I particularly like your character because you're portraying at the same time a mother and a woman. I mean, sometimes you say, especially us women, you know, being a bit uh, not very nuanced, let's say that. And in this film, even if it's focused on uh, you know, on this family, on this relationship, we still can can see the other side of you. The the, the woman who was very much in love with her her husband, you know, and her way of approaching things. So, how did you portray this? This managed to portray so well these two sides of this person. Well, I think as women, you know, these are very relatable sides. So it's a, it's a blessing to be an actor and to get to explore the truth as, as he writes so beautifully. But it was interesting, a journalist asked me the other day, oh, you've played these badass, powerful women, mm -hmm. and now you're playing this woman who's not that. I don't like How does that, that feel? Yeah. <laughs> and I said, a vulnerable woman is the greatest superpower. And so I feel honored to play someone like Kate who leads with her vulnerability, even her lack of answers and her longing, particularly in the scene in the restaurant with Hugh, where she's trying so desperately to look beyond this heartbreak of their love story 
to, to ask him to be her partner in co-parenting in this crisis. And that I feel like so many humans and also women can relate to how we try to overcome our own wounds to try to care for our children. Um, and that takes unbelievable power. Um, so I, I'm very much an admirer of Kate with all her misgivings and guilt and wrong decisions. You know, she's trying so desperately to, to love him through this, which as the movie says, love will not be enough. Yeah. But still, she tries. One last thing, Zen, how did you manage not to get lost in this? I mean, uh, we can see your pain, I could feel a pain like a confusion, not being able to stay in this life. Mm. I, I don't know how to express it. So how did you not get lost in this process since you portrayed it so well? Um, well, I don't think you completely can rid yourself of the role that you go through. Um, I think feeling those feelings, some of it does stick with you. And I feel like for any actor, you always take a bit of a character with you. Um, but since I had I have such a loving family and the cast is so lovely. They all looked after me. Florian was so lovely. Um, and just a really positive feeling on set, I think, and being able to sort of break it up between scenes and takes and uh, be ourselves a little bit really helped sort of protect me from Nicholas's pain, you know? Mm -hmm. um, but going through those scenes, you can't help but feel a bit of it. Um, myself, I can't help but feel a bit of his pain and I remember just getting home some days and just almost falling asleep straight away because I was so exhausted. Okay, I eat. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Dan McGrath, Laura Dern, for being with us and talking about The Sun by Florian Zeller in competition at Venice Film Festival, 79th edition. This is Kiara Nicoletti for Fred, the Festival Insider.